what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team Potential Player Ratings video. So, uh, we've covered a bunch of players so far in this little series. So I'd just like to say thank you for your support on that so far. I really do appreciate it. Um, and uh, there will be cards in the top right corner to uh, link you to those videos if you have missed any of them. We've covered some pretty decent players so far. Some strikers from different leagues, some young stars, all of that type of thing. And today we're going to be looking at um, five of the best Premier League strikers. Now, these may not be literally the top five highest rated Premier League strikers, but they are five of the top ones that I could think of having already covered Jamie Vardy and Harry Kane. So if you wouldn't mind starting this video off by smashing that like button, that'd be amazing. Really motivates me to make more of this content. And of course, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Literally, you could just leave the name of one player that you would like me to cover in a future episode. I'll take all of those into account for the future episodes of this series. So then, let's get into this. And the first player we're going to cover today in this video is this guy right here. Daniel Sturridge, the English striker who, of course, plays for Liverpool in the Premier League. Now, on FIFA 6, he has got an 83 rated item. Uh, uh, he's got 89 pace, 81 dribbling, and 83 shooting, as well as something like three star skill moves, two star weak foot, something like that. In terms of FIFA 17, I think we're going to see an extremely similar version of Daniel Sturridge. He was plagued with injury throughout a lot of the season last year and therefore didn't get to show us what he's got. Uh, however, I don't think that EA will downgrade him to an 82 or even an 81. I think we're going to look at an extremely similar version of Daniel Sturridge from FIFA 16 to FIFA 17 with literally marginal changes in certain areas. Like I've gone with a couple of minor upgrades, shooting, dribbling, physical. Uh, you could even see like maybe pace or passing maybe drop a little bit with some of those stats going up. Just a shift in some of those stats across the board um, to to change the card up very slightly. Uh, however, I do think this guy might get boosted to a four-star skiller. We did have a four-star skiller, Daniel Sturridge, once before, and I felt like he was harshly uh, downgraded to three-star skills overall. Um, so four-star skills and three-star weak foot is what I've gone for for Daniel Sturridge. Uh, I think he's a very impressive striker and one of England's best on his good days. Uh, hopefully, he just gets through the next season um, with scoring a lot of goals as opposed to sitting on the sidelines being injured because he's a great talent and I really want to see what he can do especially being an Englishman the more goals and stuff our strikers score the better for sure okay so that was the first player we will now move on to another BPL striker this time he is a striker that plays for Everton it's the big Belgian Romelu Lukaku so a very impressive season for this guy. Uh, really, really good. He's actually, this right here is an upgrade. It's an 82 rated winter upgrade. Romelu Lukaku with 83 pace and 82 shooting as well as 84 physical. He scored a bunch of goals last year. And I think we're going to see yet another upgrade to an 83 overall. Which is actually roughly the same rating as I gave Harry Kane for FIFA 17. I think a couple of consistent seasons now for this guy proves that he should be around the 83 rated mark. Um, and in terms of stat boosts, I've gone for plus one pace, plus two shooting, plus one passing, plus three dribbling, uh, and plus one physical overall, giving him 84 pace and shooting and 85 physical. He is a very big, bulky striker, uh, and I believe he definitely deserves a higher physical stat on the game. Um, I've given him three-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. We've seen in the previous season that he can score goals on that weak foot quite impressively as well, uh, and I just think he's an absolute monster. Of course, this guy is still very young, and we are yet to see his full potential. Uh, I'm sure across the years we may see a lot higher rated Romelu Lukaku and maybe FIFA 17 is a start. Maybe the next season in the Premier League is a start for him to get even more goals, get loads of informs and special items on the game and he will be one of the most popular players on FIFA 17 Ultimate Team in my opinion. He is already a very popular player um, but damn, I think there's lots of good Belgians in that league now that he would link to and uh, he's going to be an expensive one, I can guarantee you that. Okay, so next 
Next up on the list, we have got a Spaniard who plays for Chelsea. It is the big, angry man, Diego Costa. He definitely looks a little bit older than his actual age, in my opinion, uh, and unfortunately hasn't fired on all cylinders in the 2015 to 2016 season. Therefore, I don't think we're actually going to see an 86 rated Diego Costa next year. I think we'll see a marginal downgrade by a minus one to an 85 overall rated striker. Uh, what does that do to his stats well as you can see on screen uh, minus two in pace and then minus one pretty much across the board there um, he's still going to be a really good striker because don't get me wrong 85 rating is still nice and high with 80 pace 82 shooting and 87 physical there's a standout stat for you that physical stat right there so FIFA a website which shows you the current database stats of the players on the game have recently downgraded Diego Costa to an overall 85 uh, and they've been quite harsh on some of his stats. I believe uh, his current like head-to-head -head stats would say that he's got 77 pace, which is a minus 5 from his 86 rated last year. Now, I haven't been quite that harsh. I don't feel like he's going to get downgraded that much, especially if it's just a minus one overall. Um, however, I do think 80 pace is probably a decent stat for him. 79 dribbling, 82 shooting. I think that's the right Diego Costa for FIFA 17. Who knows, if he has a good season for Chelsea, or maybe he'll even transfer with recent rumours of arguments with Conte, um, then he could have a different season next year, score a bunch of goals, get loads of informs, and we could see all sorts of special items for this guy, which of course is what we you'll want to see. But for now, an 85 rated Diego Costa is what I predict for FIFA 17. Now moving on to uh, a very, very high rated player in the Premier League. It is, of course, Sergio Aguero. Now, uh, this is a winter upgrade. 87 to 88 is what happened to Aguero during that upgrade period. Uh, and because of that, and because, of course, he spent some time injured last year, although he scored a hell of a lot of goals, I think at the moment, his actual rating should be 88. And I think, again, a little bit like Daniel Sturridge, I do not see us uh, having many changes to Aguero at all. In fact, out of all of the cards in this particular episode, this is the one I've changed the least. Because he got that recent upgrade uh, in the winter upgrade season for FIFA 16. I just don't think he will be changed in FIFA 17. Marginal changes across the board. A little bit like Sturridge, as I said. Uh, I've given him plus one shooting and plus one dribbling over overall. Uh, and everything else I've kept the same. Whether some stats may drop down a little bit. You know, his defending might come down a little bit. Physical might go up a little bit or down a little bit. Who knows? But I think 88 rated Aguero is definitely what we'll start with anyway and of course Man City have now got a new badge so it's going to be a very very different look um, to this item next year I've got to say I prefer the old badge let me know down below in the comments section what you think to this uh, I, I don't really like it I think it looks a little bit sort of cheap uh, but maybe it will grow on me as time goes on but I really like the Man City badge beforehand so uh, it's a little bit weird to see these predictions for Man City players with this this circle badge which I'm just not used to so marginal changes overall but still an 88 rated item in my opinion and then finally I've Sort of left the best till last, the most exciting, the most interesting player in my opinion until last in this video it is of course Latan Ibrahimovic. A massive move from PSG to Manchester United over the summer. He's currently got an 89 rated card, uh, which has been transferred. He does have a Man U card on FIFA 16 um, and the stats are pretty decent. But I think we're going to see an upgrade in FIFA 17. I mean, the man scored more than a goal a game in the league and is close to 50 games, uh, 50 goals in total across all of the games of last season, which is extremely impressive, especially for an aging man. Typically, player ratings decide to sort of dwindle uh, when players get a little bit older. But I think we're definitely seeing an upgrade on Zlatan in FIFA 17. I think he deserves that 90 rating, right? I hope you guys agree. Uh, let me know in the comments section if you agree or disagree and make sure you back that up with some reasoning, of course. Um, in terms of stats, I don't think they'll downgrade his pace. Sometimes they do with aging players, but I think he'll stay at 73 pace. Um, but in terms of other stats, plus two shooting and plus two passing. He also got like 13 assists in the league, which is very impressive as well. And then this is just a dream and a bit of a hope. 
But I really wish they would give us five-star skills Ebra again. If so, he would be without doubt one of the best strikers on the game. He will be anyway, but just literally it would take him to the next level. Um, he does crazy stuff on the pitch. I don't see why he shouldn't be a five-star skiller. So therefore, that is my main hope that we get a plus one on the skill moves to Zlatan Ibrahimovic. So those are the five players chosen for today's episode. If you would like to suggest a player for me to cover in the in the future episodes, then leave a comment down below. Literally state the name of a player that is, interests you in whatever league or whatever nation or whatever you want me to cover. That would be interesting and I would love to cover those players for you guys. If you wouldn't mind also smashing a like on the video, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed. We've talked about Daniel Sturridge, Romelu Lukaku, Diego Costa, Sergio Aguero, and of course, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, the main man himself. Um, so let me know if I should cover the main strikers of another league in the next episode or something like that. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I will catch you next time, guys. Peace.